You are literally crying on the mic. It takes a very thick skin to handle online abuse in video games. That's crying, you stupid <laughs> now. Shut up. Oh, my God. At the Game Developers Conference, one of the world's largest gatherings of the people who make video games, the industry knows it has a harassment problem, one that affects the bottom line. But it's not clear what can be done about it. Forget your stereotypes about video games only being for teenage boys. Studies have suggested that half of gamers are women. And one Pew study found that women were more likely than men to own a high-end video game console. And yet, in the world of online gaming, men act as if they own the place. See, this is what happens every time they find out that I'm a girl who's streaming. <laughs> Can I donate you a skin for some skin? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mitu Kandekar Kokoros is building an artificial intelligence system that identifies harassment in online games. So in the game, you can have a character who is um, just a character in the game world who might check in with you and just sort of say, oh, hey, I noticed um, somebody just said this thing to you. I just want to make sure you're OK. But Kat Lowe, who is studying online harassment, says there's a deeper cultural shift at work here as well. Things are getting very polarized, very charged. And I've been seeing in online communities that there's an increase in posts, there's increase in comments of people telling their stories, that they're finding a ton of harassment nowadays that they didn't used to have before. The games are virtual, but the harassment is real. I'm tickling you. Where are you most ticklish? Right here? Maybe right over here? People say, just take the headset off, but those experiences stay with you. For players here, the hope is that the industry can build games and a culture that's fun for everyone.